Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make grain simulation in Houdini. So let's get started. So first thing first, you need to input the model. Uh, you can find the model um, uh, under the this video. Just search it on YouTube and they provide the link here, uh, the complete asset pack. And uh, when you open it, uh, I think it's under project files. When you unzip this file, you will find the, the texture and the model for the monster. So just download this and uh, yeah. After you download the monster model, we just need the ABC file and the, the diffuse texture. And then in the Houdini, just create a folder called monster and use Olympic node uh, Olympic node to import the ABC file here and you can check it's super super large so we can scale down it so use the transform and set that to 0 0.01 so now it's at the normal size here okay and uh, and the, the time blend node I create here is uh, used for uh, to retarget the animation. So when you, you can see the animation doesn't move here, so I retime it. So I use an expression called dollar uh, f uh, plus twenty. So you can see when it's forty eight frames, uh, seventy two frames here. And when you see uh, if we disable it, it's still under the ground. So I just uh, make the animation happen faster when he come out the ground. So just use dollar F plus the frame you want. You, you can use a different number here, but I use dollar F plus 20 here. And then I use uh, the impact node here. So one thing you need to notice is that when you import the Olympic, uh, Olympic file and you click on the node information here, you can see the points, primitive vertices are all 27. But you know it's not 27 points or face on this uh, monster. So you need to unpack it. So when you unpack it, you can see they have like uh, more points here. So if you don't do this and you create a collision source for it, it will not work. So you need to unpack it first. Okay. And I use the trail node here, change the type from preserve original to the compute velocity here. So now that when you do, uh, when the animation plays, uh, it will have a V attribute on the model. And I can use that in the render to calculate motion blur for the monster. So yeah, and I create now here just to output the monster. And this part here is uh, for the green simulation. So you can uh, create a collision source node. Basically, it will convert that to a VDB for collision. And you can use this monster as a collider in the green simulation. So just create a collision source here and in the volume here you can change the voxel size here to give it more precision and you can see here this is the vo voxel type of the monster to of the collider so and this is the primitive collider we will use both in the top network so now that we have our monster, we create. Uh, we can now create our ground. So create a folder, uh, called, create a geo, and name it ground, and dive inside. So I just create a grid here, and I change the rows to 300 here, and the columns, I just uh, copy the par parameter and uh, paste relative reference here. So when I change it here, it will do the same thing. And uh, yeah, we need to have uh, lots of polygon here. And I use the attribute VOP here to 
distort the to uh, add some noise on the grid. So let's dive inside the attribute loop. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can also use just use a mountain node here. Uh, yeah, you can just use a mountain node. I think it do the pretty much the same thing. You can change the amplitude uh, and the element size here. I think. Uh, I think it will do the same thing, but I just use the attribute warp here. Uh, let me uh, turn off the grid here. Okay, so it's pretty simple, just uh, turbulent noise and uh, add that to the position and uh, output to the point uh, position here. So just make it 3D noise and uh, play around with these values here you will get some sort of like sand uh, sand terrain here kind of and yeah when you have this uh, I use a mesh sharpen tool here so let me do it smooth shaded so it kind of give you a small stylish look okay and this tool is not uh, this node doesn't come with Houdini, so you need to go to the shelf here, plus icon, and the shelf you have, we have, I think it's called Labs Tools. Uh, where is it? So I think this node already come with Houdini 19. So if you are using uh, Houdini 18 or 18.5, I think you need to go to the shelf and find the uh, thing called side effect labs here and check that and close and reopen Houdini. Then you will have all these nodes. So it's called labs. When you type labs, these are all the nodes they provide. So you can uh, then you will have the mesh sharpen tool here, but I don't think it's too important here because we end up not rendering the the mesh here. We just use this as a collider. So yeah, you, when you have your mesh sharpen tool here, uh, just play around with values like step size iterations, and just get this stylish look. And now that it doesn't have UV, so just do a UV project here. You can uh, uh, initialize to the to best plan and uh, uh, maybe play around the scale here, just to have some UV here. But uh, yeah, we end up not rendering this, so it's not important to. You can we can disable the UV here because I haven't used it. So now that we have our grid, we can't delete every attribute on it. So I think, uh, yeah, I just clean it a little bit and then uh, I extrude, extrude the volume. So it have some thickness because the collision source we use, uh, it's not gonna work on a grid. So you need to have some of thickness, uh, thickness here. So I just use extrude volume here and uh, use a collision source, just like what we did for the monster. And uh, yeah, and you can play around with the voxel size here, so that this is the my collision for my green simulation. Okay, 